After years of only having layovers in Seoul, we're finally here and I'm so excited to explore. Currently in the tunnel, so Annie can recreate the parasite scene. Hello everyone, my name is Jay Lin and I'm a lifestyle and travel creator based in New York City. And after a 13 hour journey, we made it! We finally arrived and I'll be sharing everything on our trip from what we ate to where we stayed, starting with the Westin Joseon Seoul. This smells good. This was one out of the three hotels that we stayed at during our trip and it's located in a really central area. So here's a quick tour. There's a bathroom to the right, a ton of mirrors in the bathroom. There's a soaking tub, a clo the closet was really cool and it opens up to the bedroom area. My sister and I are sharing the king size bed. There's an area to kind of hang around and then here is the view. The subway station and also the bus stop is located right outside of the hotel so we took that to get some coffee. If you guys haven't seen my last cafe hopping tour, be sure to check that one out. Hi! We're in Seoul and Jacob met up with us. We just checked out Onion. I've seen this all over social media so I wanted to come check it out. Our friend Jacob is from Korea and he was kind enough to take us around and he brought us to this Michelin star restaurant which was super popular and it focuses on their pork menu. The food was incredible and he also said that BTS likes to come here and eat. Now we're watching sunset from this viewpoint. It's cool because they have like a bunch of cafes here with rooftops that you can just sit up on and watch the sunset. So pretty. The weather is so nice right now too. We're currently in the tunnel so Annie can recreate the parasite scene. Those are the famous steps right here. Today, well, we just finished checking out the Parasite Stairs location, filmed a few, few scenes there, and now we are at Chongyi Chong. I think that's how you say it. We're just gonna explore this area, um, and then we have a pretty full itinerary today. Oh, it's right here. We have a pretty full itinerary today, so let's take you guys along. Just got our first food vendor food. We got fried shrimp. Mmm. So Get your own, Zeke. It's like the one in the box, huh? It's got some sweet um, potatoes, which is one of my favorite banchan dishes whenever eating Korean barbecue. We got this cup for 6,000 won. It was a lot fuller, but we ate a lot because it's so good. Let's get one and then we'll share. Another street food, chicken teriyaki skewers. Mmm, it's hella crispy. library which is actually just a part of the mall um, it's so busy here but it looks pretty cool um, there's one kind of similar to this in China except the one in China uh, all the books are fake but this one is really cool books are real can confirm they also have a rabbit in here which is one of my favorite coffee shops We 
got dropped off at the Lope Tower trying to get up to the observatory. Didn't realize it was a crazy long line, also because it is Thanksgiving today. So we decided to go up to bar 81 instead. Similar views and we have drinks and food. It's definitely a hack if you guys like run into a long line at Lote Tower to just come up to the hotel bar and then check it out. barbecue spot that I found through TikTok that's super popular and someone said it's the best they've had in Seoul um, so we'll see we paid extra to be in this private room here and you can close the door it's super private you're sitting super low The next morning, we went to Guangzhou Market and I believe it's one of the oldest and traditional markets in Seoul. I will probably be making a separate video on this, but my favorite was the mung bean pancake. It was so crispy and delicious. Mm. Really good. It's our first time taking the subway in Seoul. We're gonna head back to the hotel now, check out, and then go across the Han River and check into another hotel, which we're gonna be staying at for the next three nights. Officially checked into the Conrad. So excited to be here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that I partner with Conrad often. We recently went to Conrad Sardinia in Italy to check out their newest property. And the next month, we're gonna be in Nashville for their newest property opening also. I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour and then take you guys along the day. So walking in, you have this table, a half bathroom, full length mirror, this is the connecting room, I believe. There's the living room area. Andy's on a meeting right now. Walk-in closet. And then it opens up into the king corner suite. There's the views of the Han River. And then here's the bathroom. So nice! His and her sink is a vanity with a Dyson hairdryer soaking tub with the views and then there's a standing shower that wraps all the way around back over to this side look at this there's another bathroom and then back over to the walk-in closet If you're staying at the Conrad Seoul, there's two huge malls downstairs connected to the lobby. Um, my sister and I went to go shop a little bit and then we took a train to the express bus terminal because I read online that they have Beauty of Joseon at the Olive Young there. Turns out they didn't and Koreans don't really wear that brand. It's more of an American market. Okay, we've made it to Olive Young in the express bus terminal. It's super busy down here, but this one it's already bigger than the other one that we went to, so hopefully we can find everything we need. It's pretty cool. They have everything by skin type, so they have like a whole SPF section. Um, I'm not, this is, I think this is the cleanser section. And then they have it by different brands. We just checked into the Four Seasons and they brought us a gift! Look at this! It's a chocolate cake with gold flakes. It smells delicious. 
So when you first walk in, you have a full length mirror. There is a connecting room that my sister and Zika are gonna be staying when they come back tomorrow. Here's the bathroom, so pretty. There's a toilet and the standing shower. There's also a tub here with a sliding door for privacy. Closet on this side. Mini bar tea and then opens up to the king size bed. And then there's a desk here, a couch lounge area. They also gave us some cake. And then this is the view. So beautiful. I don't even know what day it is today, but um, yesterday we checked into the hotel. We went cafe. We went to a cafe and then we came back and had dinner at one of the restaurants. The food was really good. It's a Korean restaurant and they had a lot of interesting Korean food inspired cocktails. There was like a pork belly infused vodka. There was a kimchi cocktail. We got the lobster tteokboki. I think that's how you say it. We ordered the signature dishes that they recommended, which was so freaking good. We didn't end up finishing it, so we took it to go and then I ate it right as soon as I got back. But today, we are gonna continue the cafe hopping journey and then I'm gonna head downstairs and ask the front desk about possibly doing a celebration package because I saw on the Four Seasons website that they do that. They bring balloons and a cake to your room for your birthday. It's Andy's birthday tomorrow, so hoping to make something happen. And then I have dinner reservations for us tomorrow night. And then, yeah, aside from today, it should be pretty chill. I'm excited, also sad that this solo journey is coming to an end. Usually with uh, work trips like this, we don't really get that much time to explore. It's always just go, 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 and shoot like nonstop. Um, so definitely next time we're gonna try to extend it so that we can take our time exploring the country. But yeah, let's get the day started. got to the Sawasu store. It's so cute and here's their flagship store that's in the Hanok village. We got some skincare for Andy and then also a gift for one of our friends. And then they also give complimentary tea and some snacks after you purchase and it's so nice looking at this. Back to the hotel. We originally wanted to try Big Jong um, out here, but the location that we went to is permanently closed. So we ended up finding, or we asked the local for their recommendation for a Korean barbecue spot, which is where we went. Um, it ended up being super busy, and that one was like a pork base only menu. So we went right next door to another Korean barbecue spot, which ended up being really good. The short ribs were so good. We ended up ordering like another of that afterwards and then we did a little bit of shopping around the Myeongdong area sorry if I'm butchering it it's officially my last day in Seoul but it's Andy's birthday happy birthday we kind of just hung out for the day and then headed back to the Four Seasons Hotel to have dinner with my sister and Zeke. This is a Korean and Japanese fusion restaurant and the food was really delicious. Would recommend it if you guys are kind of celebrating a special occasion. And then we just had a pretty chill night. I had to pack and leave for early morning flights. And that is the end of my Seoul journey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Andy's video as he did a lot more than I did. As mentioned in my previous video, I came to Korea with stomach flu from a prior meal so I skipped out on a lot of things but I will definitely be back next time because I know there's so much more to see in Seoul, other cities and other islands so cannot wait to be back and to properly cafe hop as I mentioned in my previous video but if you guys made it to the end thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next series. <laughs>